Hi there, this is Anthony Gordon, Artist Relations Manager for Avid, coming at you from NAM 2013. And I'm here with Shannon Labrie. Hello. And Brett Vargason. Hello. Of Nashville, Tennessee. The place so, to be. Thank you very much for coming on down all the way from, uh, from Nashville. Uh, Shannon, you're an independent songwriter and musician. Yes, I am. Can you tell us about what your relationship with music is all about? Yeah, well, I've been playing music most of my life, actually all of my life. And um, yeah, the relationship is obviously communicating with people on a very large span and uh, just having fun, creating a moment for people to relax and get away from life, their families. <laughs> so you're in, you're in Nashville, which is the other hub of like the major music industry. Music City. Music City. But <clears throat> it's not just all about huge country superstars and massive tour buses and productions. Like many other cities, there's an independent music scene. Yes. That, uh, from what I hear, is alive and well and thriving. Can you tell me a little bit about how you fit into that scene and, yeah. and what you like about it? Absolutely. There's a lot of really great artists that are indie that have resurfaced, um, like the Civil Wars. Uh, Jack White has it resurfaced, but um, is in Nashville and creating a great scene. He's really supportive of independent artists. Um, and of course, like Kings of Leon came out of Nashville. A lot of amazing artists in our country. Um, and most of those artists, if they're on a large scale or small scale, they all support the indie market. Um, especially like in East Nashville, Tennessee is a really close community of kind of underground indie artists. Um, so it's, it's really, really awesome. And I'm of course a part of that and I'm honored to be a part of that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely an inspiring community of music yes, out there. Yes, definitely. Brett, <laughs> sorry, I was doing a little mic sharing. Thank you. So, Brett, you've, you've been involved in music in Nashville for quite a while. You work with Shannon professionally, you work in mu music together, and you operate a studio called Zoud Lounge. Yes, I operate, uh, yeah, it's a studio, um, it's kind of a, it's a studio slash kind of uh, artist development company. Right, so... As we've seen changes in the music industry over the years, one thing that you don't see a whole heck of a lot of on the major side is real like nurturing of an artist and artist development. That used to be a standard, a little bit less so. And I see, see it popping up in spaces in the, in the kind of indie community. So I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about how you're able to bring your music chops, your recording chops, uh, all, all the other skills that you've picked up in music to be working together to, to develop, you know, your music well we just always thought that um, recording is a very important aspect of the music industry but it's it's one aspect of the uh, music industry and we always wanted to we love artists and we believe in artists and we believe that's what people really respond to our artists rather it's Adele the Civil Wars uh, you name it and uh, but in, and for in, for those artists in order to become the artists that we love there has to be a nurturing aspect and um, and we've seen over the last 10 years, or whatever, as labels have shrunk budgets or whatever, that nurturing aspect has gone away. And we always thought there was a void in that. So we thought, wow, if we can record these artists and at the same time nurture them, help them play live, um, teach them about publishing, um, uh, help them with their live show, uh, help them do television and film sync, um, just all these different things, then we can help them um, start making money in music. And that's all any artist wants to do is quit their day job and sustain themselves doing what they love and to no do. no one's ever successful on their own. No one ever succeeds on their own. No one has ever accomplished anything. For the most part, you need to have support. You need that's to exactly have right. people with you. So it's, uh, it's nice to see that you guys are doing that. Can, can you talk a little bit about the experience that you've had working at Zod Lounge? and how that's uh, influenced your music and kind of helped you grow a little bit as an artist? Yeah, well, um, Zod Lounge was actually the first music industry company that I had met that A, understood me as an artist. Um, I recorded a demo with them just to kind of feel it out. And I, it was the first time I actually heard music come out of speakers that actually reflected me as a musician. So that was kind of what started it. Um, we just became really, really good friends. Um, and as the, we did an EP together about a year ago, and that just continued to grow and get a great response. And it just kind of formed into, rather than me going on meetings alone or taking phone calls, I was able to trust them and rely on them to kind of back me on that. 
And so there was, um, which there's so many, you talked about how much the music industry is changing. There's so much of it that as an artist, you don't understand. Because you want to write songs, you don't want to you know, do, do math so much. So they're able to just kind of come up and support me in that way. And so the relationship is very much a friendship, but also a 50-50 a partnership. And I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can and they are going to work as hard as they possibly can to make this succeed. And ultimately it's so, you know, we don't have to work at TJ Maxx or wait tables. Like we just, we want to be able to play live music and do it for a living, so. How has, uh, how has recording changed uh, your music? The recording process in general going, I mean, it's, you listen to something played back, it's definitely yeah. a different beast than what you're yeah. hearing in your head. How, how has actually just the recording process changed or influenced? It was uh, amazing. I, I moved to Nashville from Colorado. Um, I was like living in a van, um, very, very hippie, didn't really know anything about the music industry. But when I came and I, I heard the music back and I started recording in the studio, <coughs> excuse me, um, being able to hear my voice so intimately was amazing. And to hear like the full product was amazing. So Brett, can you tell me a little bit about what you've got going on at your studio and what inspired you to get involved in recording in the first place? Uh, we've just, since uh, I have two other partners and we have just always loved the recording side of it. Uh, I've known them for about 25 years and uh, that's just always been a, um, been a medium 25 that years? Been, yes. Were you like four years old when you... I, I, yes, I was, I was actually four years old, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I started young. But uh, just the recording side of it always, it was just always interesting how you can take um, a song and just the process of recording it and hearing it playing back and, and trying to make it the best it can. Um, that, that was always just an interesting um, medium and we always wanted to do that and so. Uh, you're running Pro Tools 10 in your studio? Yes. How's that been working for you? It is fantastic. Pro Pro Tools is such an integral part of what we do. Um, you know, you hear it's the industry standard, and it is the industry standard. So, like Shannon, Shannon can record ideas on her laptop on an inbox, and then she can bring them to us, and not there's no craziness or whatever we can take. Because sometimes some of the parts that she's going to lay down are going to be they're going to be great, and so you don't need to replace them or whatever. And it's just a seamless transition. And also, Pro Tools is so. For lack of a better word, it's just easy. It, it gets out of the way. It allows you to create music without having a billion menus, a billion buttons, a billion, it's just, it sounds amazing and it allows you to create music. And at the end of the day, that's what you're trying to do is create music. Absolutely. So Shannon, what are you hoping to accomplish this year with your music, with your career, and with your recordings? Are you making a record or? Yep, yeah, we just got done with a full album. It comes out February 5th Ooh. of this year. And uh, we're doing touring. We just got done with a show at House of Blues here in Los Angeles. And uh, How was the show? It was great. Yeah, yeah that's I a, that's really pretty love that cool venue. place to play, huh? Oh, that was, it was awesome. So do that. There's a movie coming out in the fall that um, is a soundtrack movie and I'll have a featured song on that. So cool. that's kind of the upcoming year, what's going on and hopefully just cheering all around the United States and hopefully Europe, so. Wow, keep grinding. Yeah. So how can people find out about your music? Yeah, uh, shannonlabriemusic.com. And how and, uh, would you spell that? It is L-A-B-R-I-E. There you go. Lebri, shannonlabriemusic.com. And of course you can go on iTunes or just Google me and, a, and it'll, it'll all come up, so. Cool. Yeah. Well, I wish you both the best of luck. I have, you guys are definitely out there working hard and uh, your, your spirit, is definitely in the right place and Aww. you got wonderful talent and you're hard working folks and I just I'm getting my fingers crossed I think it's gonna be a big, big year for you yeah awesome thank you so much yeah you bet yeah. well uh, I just want to say again thank you to Avid just for making yeah. great products and um, just taking the time to even be interested in artists because um, you are we you couldn't know. do it without you well but That's, we would but, not exist but there are some companies that don't understand and you guys understand it's about the artist and the people making the music and you've always just have been amazing in that way so thank you that's sweet of you thank you wow what a love fest we have going on here at NAMM 2013 <laughs> stay tuned we will have more interviews with artists with producers with development partners uh, it's just gonna be really fun so keep checking in and we will see you next time